This video is brought to you by the following websites. And also these melons. And don't forget to like the video. Hey, what's going on guys, Darius here, and today I have a really quick tutorial uh, about non-destructive manipulation. And if you're going to do long manipulations, if you know that you're going to put your time and effort into your manipulation, that you better use non-destructive manipulation because that way you won't regret uh, making changes to your layers that will uh, completely destroy it. And, you know, like you want to change something, but you can't because you didn't fucking save it and stuff so how do we prevent that uh just gonna go into photoshop really quick and um i set up a scene here with the rock and uh, a nice room background and stuff um and hey let's say i want to erase rock's head and the problem is this is a smart object but i want to keep it as a smart object so i don't you know destroy the quality Let's learn about smart objects first. What the hell do they do? So, I'm gonna make two copies. I'm gonna have the smart object here and a rasterized one right here. And I'm going to make the rock, this one rasterized. There we go. Now, this is the smart object. I'm gonna label it with green and I'm going to label with red the rasterized object. So, what happens if we, if we resize uh, the rock render Let's just make it a really small <laughs> mini rock. Um, and we put it there like that. And um, what happens if we resize the rasterize layer? And we're just, we're just gonna make it like the same size and press enter. So now we have two small rocks on the floor. And uh, let's see what happens when we try to make them big again. We're gonna start with the smart object. Press control T, resize it and uh let's see well nothing happens it's it's the same i mean it's it's bigger uh what happens if we resize the rasterized render yeah, let's see there we go there it is there is your destructive manipulation don't do it kids don't try this at home always use smart objects if you can so usually you would be able to erase his head um only with the eraser if he's rasterized like this okay nothing to it but I want to keep this uh, render full I want to have it backed up in case something happens so how do we modify the um, the smart object how do we remove his head simple you go to your masks here down here you have a set of tools that will tremendously help you so what is this? Add layer mask. And it's going to add um, this white square when you click this uh, th thing down here. And what is this white square? Well, check out what happens when I go with uh, the brush tool and with the black selected over his head and just click once. See? It removes his head and it's still a smart object. This is awesome. Photoshop is awesome. Uh, what happens if I get white and I just brush over? It appears back and you don't even have to rasterize it. So if you're doing some destructive manipulation, you wouldn't be able to get the head back if you're too far. Um, if you have, you know, like, un you can't undo, obviously, but if you're too far, then not good. So make sure you to always, ha always have masks on your renders um and smart objects so you can easily modify them with the masks and with um the resize and stuff like that anyway let's move onward so uh other things that can be applied destructively are um, the effects so if you're like a new photoshop user you're going to probably have a rasterized layer and uh you don't know what the hell you're doing so you're going to go to image adjustments and let's say for example you want to change the uh, hue and saturation so you go there and you change the saturation you make make him a bit more uh, dark and blackish made it made him a bit more dark and change the hue to i don't know green and then okay look what happens it added it added this effect directly to the um to the render 
which is not what we want because we want to have the original too. And instead of making a backup copy, we just use something much, much easier. We go here where the, there's this uh, small circle, black and white, you click there, and then you have all these effects that will be turned into layers. How cool is that? Um, you're going to, for example, add uh, some hue and saturation, the same thing with it back then, but look at it, it's on a layer now. So let's say we turn down the saturation, we turn down the likeness, and we make this guy uh, green. But as you can see, it applies to everything in the picture. That's not what we want. We want to apply it only to the rock. So you click on the adjustment layer, right click, and then select create clipping mask. And every effect that you add as a clipping mask to the rock, it's going to apply, which is fantastic. And look at it. We have the effect here. We undo it have it, undo it, have it, undo it, penis, what? So, um, this is non-destructive manipulation. This is awesome. Smart objects, masks, adjustment layers, you all have them here in this panel. You can use them so you don't ever mess up. Photoshop is a powerful tool, so make sure to use it properly. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Um, I will be seeing you guys in a bit. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading recently, you know, like photo manipulation tutorials with gods coming out of some fucking, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I'm working on stuff and I have a lot of projects. I have a lot of work and yeah, you know, life's catching up and stuff and it's kind of hard. That's what she said. So, see you guys in a bit.